Hello, this is a Bechstein Model 5 upright piano made in 1903, which is one of the very latest Model 5s. And we just completed the work on the piano. And just want to show you the kind of work that we've done. And uh, it's a lot of extra, lot of work on this model, so uh, it's quite costly, unfortunately. But if you've got a Model 5, and I know there are lots of them around, we'd be really happy to work on it, though. Um, the resale value of the piano would be less than the cost of the work. So hopefully, as we're promoting the work on these, and also as they're, they're getting more popular, the old Bechstein pianos, then uh, it will go up in value. Now, the key tops, we've, we've buffed them all uh, in really perfect condition. And you can see the name Bechstein, originally sold by A. Wilson Percy. That was a bit dull. We've uh, polished that up. And by the way, the pedals, we've recapped those because... Um, they were the were right one was so worn, so that indicates the piano had had a lot of wear. The casework we haven't repolished; it's faded rosewood and uh, faded rosewood, really. So um, a lot of people like faded rosewood. Obviously, originally it's quite a dark colour. The inside of the lid here shows uh, how dark it was. In fact, it's probably darker than that. So um, the faded rosewood's very very popular, as I say nowadays. So quite a good idea to leave it like that unless it really, really needs repolishing. Uh, we've also uh, replaced this backstay that was broken, put a piece of felt on it so it doesn't damage the case. And uh, it really is necessary to bring the music desk at a uh, better angle for music to sit on it. So the most important work to do on this, and uh, I'll put a link to the video before, because the tuning pins go loose on Model 5s, Model 1 to 5 uprights, that's the older ones, made before 1902 and this one just early 1903, um, you very, very often find the rest plant doesn't, doesn't cope with central heating, whereas model, the later models 6 to 10 do uh, normally cope with central heating. So sometimes we've had to replace them in the model 10 as well. The model 5, it was very popular pianos, lots of them in existence still, and uh, I believe really well worth restoring. So there's a new strings, new rest plant behind here, the wood behind there has been replaced, and that's the important thing. So the tuning pins are now extremely tight, like a new piano, really. In fact, everything's like a new piano, except I believe the tone is, is more pleasant, more sweet. Let's, let's have a listen to it. Oh, by, uh, before we do, they've changed the hammers too. I'm going to keep this brief, but the, these are Arbel German hammers. Uh, we've re, re put new tapes on, lots of regulation, a uh, huge amount of work, really, new dampers as well. So. Now this is um, not suffering at all from any problems in the sound in the soundboard. But yet we have reconditioned the soundboard too. Uh, the tone rounds here, as we mentioned many times before, is what you you need most of all. And the tenor on these is wonderful. Um, this this model ten, straight strung, and therefore the damping is better here, as we mentioned before, because the dampers aren't. Uh, aren't shortened by crossing over, uh, but round the down the bottom base, it's not so good as the overstrung. Um, but really, you, just, you play the bass mostly in octaves like that, and it's the tenor is the more important. So a very nice damping because brand new damping dampers as well. So. Looking down the bottom of the piano, uh, new bridge caps um, that improves the tone a lot, and uh, we can see the soundboard has been. If you look carefully, you can see the lighter colour where it's been shimmed, and then it's been bleached to match. So um, the end end result is that the soundboard looks very spectacular too. Um, new strings is very keeping them as long as possible for the coffer, so uh, that gives you the very best tone that you can get on bass strings. Uh, just because all, all regulation has been done, the damper's regulation obviously is, uh, uh, that's, sorry that wasn't the damper pedal, there we are, is as perfect as we can get it and the damper's lift off reasonably late so that the uh, you don't feel a, a sudden notch when the spring damper spring comes into play. So uh, that makes the touch very smooth. And one wonderful touch on Model 5s and Model 10s is one of our favourites. So that's a completed work on a Bechstein Model 5 upright piano made in early 1903 and 
has a beautiful sweet sound. One of our favourite models really, though very often the rest plank needs to be changed on them and uh, this one was very worn too. So we've done a considerable amount of work. If you've got a Model 5 Beckstein piano, uh, then it's well worth doing, though the expense of doing it can't normally be recouped from the resale value if you ever want to resell it. But I'm hoping that the value of these will go up because um, we're, we're obviously trying to promote them. And um, I think if you're in the trade, you will agree that the sweet sound is something special, really. They were very special. There were lots of them made, so obviously a very, very popular piano. Um, very, very popular piano indeed, and well worth the effort of restoring, I believe. It's very difficult for us to recruit the, the expense of restoring it, though, so it's quite costly if you do want them done. So um, bear that in mind that economically um, it's a difficult proposition, but if you inherit the piano and want to keep it in the family, for instance, it's well worth doing, and you can certainly learn the piano um, if you want to learn to play the piano. There's no reason why you shouldn't learn to play the piano on uh, one of these pianos. The action is very smooth, very responsive, just as good as a new piano, better than many new pianos, and, and really if it's properly regulated there's no reason at all why it, it shouldn't be used to learn, and you can get right through to grade 8 on this with no problem at all. Beautiful tenor area. We always guarantee all our work for on restoration and and as I say it's as good as buying a new piano. It lasts just as long. In fact, they're really made to restore these pianos, these old Becksteins whereas a lot of new pianos are not made to restore at all. Thank you very much for listening.